All right, let's get over to Greg right now for a check of the forecast as we continue to talk about this heat advisory. Yeah, we are talking about the heat across the country. We're dealing with uh, some pretty dramatic weather as well. Parts of St. Louis are drying out from historic flooding and in other places like for us here in Texas, the drought conditions continue. Now we're going to bring in meteorologist Maria Ruiz now to talk more about what's happening around the rest of the nation. Absolutely. I mean, we've been talking about that heat advisory, not just in North Texas. It extends just to our surrounding states as well. But look at the Pacific Northwest dealing with heat advisories, excessive heat warnings. These are locations that don't have AC. Think about that in late July. Also along the East Coast, heat advisories continue. And uh, for the middle part of the country, we're looking at this front moving in, bringing in a lot of beneficial rainfall, but also the threat for flooding. Monsoonal moisture continues across portions of Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. That's where we see the flood advisories. We see that again in Kentucky, portions of West Virginia. Here are the systems coming in, though, where we do have the excessive heat warnings. That's where we have really strong ridges of high pressure. And you see it there and you see it closer to the Gulf. That front right there. Yeah, Greg has been talking to you about that potential for rain. Well, that's our potential for rain. It's that front. The more south it moves, the better rain chances we have. But it does look like this area of high pressure. Well, it's holding pretty steady and that leaves Texas with a big nothing for our rainfall. And this is over the course of the next 10 days. So I'm going to show you here. You see that long area of reds and, and oranges. Well, that is where we are going to see that front stall along with a little bit more moisture coming in across the desert southwest. Texas not getting much of it at all. Trace to a tenth maybe in the next 10 days. Of course, Greg will talk to you about uh, the uh, timeline for that rain here for this weekend, but we need the rain and we need it because we are now in the fifth longest streak with no rainfall. We'll see how long this lasts, Ashara.